Hey everyone, this is Bubble from the Mario server. I'm here to do a video on the King of the Lake event. Now, there isn't really much to say about this event because it's literally just people fishing. It's not too exciting, but you know, it's uh, it's something. Um, so basically, when you first log in, or not first log in, but when you log in and you haven't done this event yet, you should be uh, getting a feather like this, the lake ne neek, neek feather, uh, and it'll take you to the lake. It works as a kind of like an Avon feather, so it'll take you also back to your last location as well. However, you only can use it up until September 11. So I guess it expires or proofs by then. Um, <clears throat> so when you go to the lake, you'll see this guy here. He's gonna have some quests for you. Um, the first quest is basically him introducing you to uh, this new event and he'll be giving you like uh, some free fishing bait. Awesome beans. Um, they look like this right here. And they expire, unfortunately, so you can't really hoard them and use them later. Uh, he also sells them too, and some fishing rods. So you are fully prepared to do this event. Uh, the other event that he gives you, which I've already completed, is uh, one where he requests uh, to receive a 200 or over 200 centimeter lungfish and if you're able to catch one at that size he will give you the title Sao Nishida title which increases your automatic fishing success rate and increases increases your chance to catch bigger fish which I'm wearing right now and I feel that this title is giving everyone like literally 100% success rate to auto fish I mean, it's really good. That's all I can say. Um, he also gives you a daily quest that's called the Joy of Fish, Joy of Fishing, and you basically deliver five certain types of sized fish, uh, sized lungfish, to him. Uh, some days it'll be a hundred to one thirty, and other days it'll be ninety-nine centimeter or less. So you just have to look at your quest and, um, do it, I guess. Oh crap. I don't have, like, the fish size he needs, so I'm gonna have to go over there and fish. Which is weird, because I have, like, a lot here. Oh, I don't want to give him my 200 centimeter ones. I'm saving those. Okay, so basically... You can only um, get all these awesome stuff at this lake, so you'll see a lot of people AFK fishing around the lake. And for me, I like to fish with my ego out, but it's really, uh, you can't really do that unless you have a fishing chair, which I do right here. And voila, fishing chair! And that is a good way to just starve your ego while you're just like AFK fishing for stuff. If I can find a spot to throw my line. Oh, there you go. Okay, so some stuff that you can fish out, you pretty much can see on the floor already from everyone else. Oriental warrior suits, cloth shoes, gargoyle swords, twin horn caps, ladles, cooking pots, other things like cooking knives, linen gloves, sword chip. Uh, swordsmanship, school uniforms. Uh, there are like things like idol ribbon dresses, um, a kite shield that's red with gold rim. Uh, so yeah, there's like some interesting stuff that you can fish out. But the biggest prize of all is the um, swimsuit, the cool swimsuit uh, box, um, and that gives you a chance of getting a swimsuit for male or female and some dish that nobody wants. Uh, 
I have yet to like find that box from my countless hours of AFK fishing. But if you do, hopefully you get lucky and get what you want. And that's basically the entire summary gist of the entire event. It's just fishing. As for the rewards um, for turning in, I forgot to mention actually, for turning in those uh, five uh, certain types of fishes to Nishida, you can get uh, a box from him. And it's not the same as a swimming box, of course, oh, I wish it was. But it, it's a box that lets you uh, redeem a prize, which is either like certain types of um, Sao crystals, which is like for healing, it's like healing potions for HP, MP, antidotes, and all that stuff. Um, there's also a Lorna balloon that you can uh, redeem. And they look like. Where are my Lorna balloons? Where be my balloons? There it is. They look like this. Um, and that's basically what, basically all it, all it is. Uh, the other thing that you can also redeem is a Manus Potion. And it basically boosts your stats temporarily. So it's just a buff potion. It's not a permanent buff potion, it's just a temporary buff potion. So, in my honest opinion, there is not really anything good there. Oh, right. There is, however, like if you get the higher centimeter quest one, there is uh, a training seal that you can redeem. And it's not for like skill training, any skill training that you want. It's specifically fishing, like the fishing skill, which is right. Not on my list. Where is it? Oh, God. Fishing, fishing, fishing. Where is my fishing? Did I pass it? Fishing, fishing, fishing. Huh? Okay, go slowly now. Oh, there it is. Wow, I'm blind. Okay. Which is basically the fishing skill. My character's already rank 1, so it serves no purpose at all. But yeah, to those who want to actually rank up the fishing, this is a good event to do. I guess, yeah. Um... There are uh, different types of fishing rods, I guess you can use, besides what I'm doing right now. I'm using the fishing chair, which requires no fishing rod. There's a life fishing rod, which is right, right there. I killed him. I killed my, I killed leader. He's, he has on his back. He's dropping junk all over the place right now. Um, there he is. He's holding it. Uh, you can fish with that. You can use a regular fishing rod. You can use anything. It works just fine for this event. Um, I also have tried using the item fishing pole W22 for this event, and what it does is that it increases your chance of getting items instead of fishes, which is pretty nice, because, you know, you kind of want items. Um, and I feel like it does kind of help a little bit, but not too much. Like, I still get a huge ton of, like, fish. So yeah, it's it's just there. And since we're like fishing anyways, I figured I uh, go on a topic of showing people how to manually fish. I know that for some new players uh, on Mabby, fishing manually is confusing as heck. Um, so, I will take that opportunity to do so. Basically, there are two ways to fish. Auto fishing, manually fishing. Auto fishing is just literally, you just do nothing. You just throw your cast in there and then, like, do something else. Just, you know, play on your DS or browse the internet. You just leave your character there, you're gonna fish. And, but however, how the downside to auto fishing is that you have a chance of failing. And, um missing the catch. Fortunately for us, this event helps us not fail because of this title. So, um, 
manually fishing at this point is completely useless. So when you manually fish, when you get a pop-up like this and you got a catch, you click on catch and then you'll see a box where the fish is in and you have to keep that fish in the box by tugging in the opposite ooh, opposite direction that it's swimming in. Um, it gets kind of tricky because, you know, the fish can be like, troll lol, I'm gonna go this way, but nope, nope, you think I'm gonna go this way, but I'm gonna go the other way. So you have to like try not to panic too much when it comes to manually fishing, I guess, if that's the right word for it. How I like to do it is like, I like to keep my wrist on my mouse and not move my, hmm, how, how do I explain this? Not jerk my mouse too far from my hand position. I'm just slightly tugging on the opposite direction. So, like, if you were to see, I don't know if you actually can see my arrow. Oh yeah, you can. Okay. If you can see my mouse cursor, if I were to be, like, showing, if you were to just look at where my, how far my mouse cursor is moving when I'm ma manually fishing, it's just, like, moving, like, like, no more, really, than an inch on the screen, or maybe, like, a centimeter, even. I'm just doing like this, or like that, or like this, or like that. <laughs> so like, you you're not really going like, oh, 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 I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, this is how I gotta pull, I gotta pull like so hard. That's not how it works. Um, otherwise, you'll just like go like, Wah, like that, and that's not what you want to do. Because when you fail, you'll it'll go green, and then I mean it'll go red, and then it'll be like, oh no, I failed. That's the downside to manually fishing is that you don't want to keep the fish out of the box too long otherwise it'll break free. So hopefully that kind of helps you guys on how manually fishing works. You literally just tug slightly, just uh, slightly to the opposite direction. And now to tug you have to actually click the mouse down, hold it down and then slightly pull to the left, right or whatever direction it's going opposite directions going at. And you have to, you literally keep your mouse button down. That's what you do. That's that's how I do it. I think if I let go of the mouse it's you know, it just does that what I just did. It fails. What? I succeeded. Oh, that's amazing. It's because I f I caught it before it got to uh, the very end of the red bar. That's pretty neat. Um, but yeah, you just basically want to keep it in the box before it turns like red on the very top, if you see on the top. Let me show you guys one more time, once I get a catch, come on, come on, what a fishy, come on, come on, come to me, no fish, yeah, oh, there you go, so I'm going to press catch, if you see the bar on the top, make sure it doesn't go red, the bar on the bottom, is basically how long you have to uh, keep this up for. Eh, it's not that long, it's just like pretty short. Ta-da! Yay! And supposedly they say that if you manually fish versus auto fish, you get bigger fish. I don't know. I can't really confirm if that's true or not. I mean, it probably could be because I don't manually fish a lot. But other than that, there's really no bigger point to auto fish or manually fish. I mean there's no bigger point to manually fish during this event. I can just like let it like just let it catch on its own right now. Yep, done. Done deal. And that's all you do for this event, guys. It's literally just fishing. Sometimes I kinda like these sort of events because then you just have uh, time to do other things while you you know catch stuff here. Alright, one more thing I'd like to point out though is that if you do catch things, um, a pretty good tip is to, if you do have it, is to use a chef's bag because uh, apparently fish count as like food. I mean, that makes sense, right? So it makes it easier for all the fish to like fall into the bag. Um, and it's like only a one by 3 size bag. So that's what I use right now. I have an empty luxurious bag 
or like luxury equipment bag, and that's for all the junky items I can pick up. I if I should drop that, I wouldn't that. And just other bags in general. So if you don't have uh, other types of bags, you know, you just have to keep watching your bag, making sure that it doesn't fill up too quickly, because you will get huge things like popo skirts. Those are like two by four, and that thing's amazingly huge. Um, and if you don't have room for the better prizes, well, you know, they're pretty much just gonna fall out of your bag, like, like that, or my guildies fishing and stuff is falling under his uh, feet and they'll disappear um, same thing will go for the uh, swimming box however the swimming box disappears after a long period of time so you can if you AFK fish at least if you come back within an hour or two it still will probably be there and no one else can pick it up but you so that's comforting to know. However, I haven't caught one yet, so I can't say my sources are reliable. Well, anyway, I hope you guys get awesome things on your event if you are fishing, because I actually am only fishing just for like ego food. I mean, this is oh, this is amazingly good for my ego. I can just sit on my fishing chair, leave my ego out at the same time, and uh, feed my ego all these stuff. And voila! E free ego food! I'm pretty sure a huge majority of the players are doing that. <gasps> shark! I forgot to mention, you can catch a shark! Yeah! Carnivore shark! Yes! Amazing. I caught like five or six so far. It's... These are pretty good to catch just because, like, they look nice on the floor. Look at that. Look, look at that, that's too cool. My shark buddy. Also, if you do catch a shark, that is how you get the fishing legend title, apparently. So, if you are wondering how to get that title, that is uh, what you do to catch the title. <laughs> See what I did there? Catch the title. Yeah. But no, swimsuit boxes are extremely, extremely rare to get. At least for me, I don't know. Like I've, I've seen or heard some people catch it within 10 minutes, and then there's some people who haven't caught it for like hours and hours and days and days. So it's really all random luck. And that is, my friend, the king of the lake fishing event.